everybody. Welcome back to my channel, So Fast I Young. I'm Morgan, and today is my one year anniversary of my channel starting. So one year ago today, I posted my first video. It was me rambling about uh, wanting to make a Red Riding Hood costume. So pretty excited that that, you know, became a reality. Um, I had wanted to have my gunny sack dress ready and done today for y'all to see, but that was not, was not in the cards. So She's very, very close, and you are going to get to see a sneak peek. Um, so this video is going to be about putting in a centered zipper in a garment. So I'm going to talk about how to put in the centered zipper, how I like to do it. This is my method. There are multiple methods. None of them are necessarily wrong. This is just my personal preference of how to put a centered zipper in to a garment. How to finish the top of it with a facing, and um, just a little look at what that looks like, and then uh, putting a hook and bar at the top. So um, it's going to be a pretty short video. It's very informative. It, it is on my gunny sack dress. Um, she is in process. I just ended up having some things that took more time the last two weeks than I was expecting. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I did not get as far as I wanted to for her today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put a zipper in her. All right, so I'm going to work on putting my zipper in. Um, I'm going to put a cute little finished tab at the bottom of this with the fabric. This is where my zipper, um, this is where the uh, zipper will basically end on the dress. So I'm going to put a tab like down here. I always like to leave a little bit extra. That's just my personal preference. Um, so I'm going to end up putting it down. Yeah. There's a couple different ways you can do this. This is just my method. I like to make like a little uh, tab, basically. And this is a little bit wide. Let me see. Uh, a little bit closer to that. I'm just really using some scrap. Um, and it doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, I probably will put a little, like, tack up here at some point, too, before I, like, just, uh, some thread wrap around it. Um, but this is just going to finish the bottom so that it's nice uh, on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, fold this and this and stitch straight across. And then I'm going to pull this. No, I'm doing this wrong. This way. Uh -huh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, so these get folded in to finish it. Then this gets pulled down, um, pressed a little bit, and then folded up, and then you just stitch a little box around the end. So let's do that. You can make these little tab things as big or as small as you want, honestly. Um, I'm making mine about a half an inch. doesn't really work with metal zippers because you can't really stitch through the teeth of metal zippers, but you can stitch through the teeth of plastic zippers, particularly coil ones. This is a coil one. Okay, so now I'm going to pull her down like this. This was literally just a scrap that I grabbed out of the bin really quick. Um, so this just gets folded down and then folded up like that. Nice and easy. Okay. It's just pretty and it just like finishes it pretty on the inside. So now I'm going to stitch up over and down. Let's get that nice and straight. Oh, you know what? I have this on huge stitches, I just realized. I was basting before I did this. Huh. Then 
This just um, gives you a nice soft end to your zipper too. Always rotate when your needle is down in the machine. Nice stitch to finish it off. So yeah, that just makes like a cute little soft tab. Um, this is what will be against the body, so it won't be irritating. And like I said, I just left a little bit extra just in case. This way, so I've got seven inches from my waist down to this. If for some reason I need eight or nine, I've still got room to move it. Um, I shouldn't. Seven was like the set. But that way, if for some reason it decides it doesn't like my hips, uh, I can adjust it. So, um, yeah. Now I have here the back of the dress. Let's look at the back of the dress. So the back of the dress, I sewed up the bottom of the skirt up to... Oh, the marks are gone because I pressed it. Uh, did I put cuts? Oh, I did put the cuts. Okay, so I sewed up the bottom of the dress to here with a normal stitch. And then I back tacked. Okay, I'm going to base my dress clothes from the point uh, where the zipper is going to start up to the top. Um, got a line marked so that's what I'm following um, and then I am going to this is the facing up here so I'm going to also sew that closed the same amount Okay, once I've pressed it open and so press open the center back, so this is uh, basted together. I open my zipper all the way down and I'm going to find the point that my zipper, I've marked this, this is the point that the zipper uh, opens to basically from the outside. So I already measured that and that leaves me with about three eighths at the top. Um, of the zipper, um, which will account for the trim and also a hook and bar or hook and eye. I haven't decided which one I'm putting. Hook and eye. Hook and bar. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Did you know that? You're watching a weirdo, so. So I've lined the blue line that I made on my zipper up with the point where I know that I, um, have the reinforced stitches and then went from uh, back stitching to basting stitches. Um, so at this point we're just basting this in as well. So I'm going to uh, just carefully as I go. You can go ahead and pin this if you want but yeah so I've got this and I'm just using the width of this to baste it in. It doesn't really this doesn't have to be super precise. Um. So you're going to do that all the way up, okay? Okay, so when you get to the top, I like to take this little bit and fold it back and a little bit to the side, personally. I just like to go ahead and get it out of my way. Um... And tack that down okay so you can do that um you can open this and sorry so i just like to do it to um the basting it to one side uh, you can close up the zipper and now go back and baste it 
to this side as well if you want. Um, but that's just, I've never liked doing it to both. So I just close mine up and I go to the outside and start doing my top stitching at this point um, because I personally feel like it's secured enough. If you want it more secured, you are welcome to, like I said, you can run it through the machine uh, basting this side. But I do recommend um, basting the same direction, so basting from the bottom up so that it doesn't, nothing shifts. On the outside, I've made a mark basically right where this zipper bottom is. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom of our zipper on the outside. Best practice, honestly, is to use uh, your zipper foot. Start here, stitch across, and stitch up, and then come back, start here, stitch across the other direction, and come up. That is the best practice. That's the way that you're going to make sure that your tension doesn't, like your fabric doesn't shift at all. You can also do the thing where you start at the top and just stitch all the way around. That's the quick way. Um, it's the easy way. Uh, <laughs> If you want to do it that way, you can. I mean, I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna stop anybody or tell them that it's wrong. You just do run a greater risk of your, um, like, seams or pattern shifting if you have, uh, if you have taken the time to pattern match like I have. So I am actually gonna do it the good way and I'm going to stitch across the bottom at my line and then go up one direction and then oh and turn this don't forget to change the tension on your thread or not the tension the um the stitch length don't forget to change your stitch length because that's important and make sure you don't have anything caught underneath. So now I'm gonna use my, I'm just using the sled foot again, or uh, not the sled foot, the, the regular foot instead of the sled foot. Um, and I'm just gonna use that to work my way up. So we'll do this side and then I'll do the other side. So I'll show you as I go. Important note in here, I do have, I have the zipper closed, I have the um, pull upwards, and then also at this point I'm also going to make sure that I fold down um, the ear on the other side before I get to the top. Right now I'm actually stitching on the side that wasn't basted. And before I don't go into the, I'm not going into the um, facing here, I'm stopping and back stitching before the facing. Okay, and then I'm gonna go all the way down back to the bottom. I always kind of go slow over the uh, zipper just so that I know. And then this time I'm going to run the other um, part of this foot uh, along the zipper instead of on top. It should, gives me, should give me the same spacing as running this next on, uh, on top of the zipper next to the seam.
part of why you want to um, try to sew in the same direction is so that if you do get any shifting, they're not like in opposition to each other. Otherwise, you might end up with one side uh, higher or shorter than the other. And we wouldn't want that. Again, we're going to go right up. So this side, it's already folded under, under here. I still have the head of the zipper up. We're just gonna go right up alongside the zipper. Do a little back stitch at the top before you hit the actual uh, um, facing. And you're done. then you just need to pop out your uh, basting stitch. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that must have been a leftover thread. Okay. <laughs> but you can see I did a pretty good job on like matching a lot of these. They're a little bit, a little bit off, uh, probably from getting moved a couple times, but this one is pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, that one up there is really nice. So here's my lovely centered zipper. <sighs> and yeah, that's a little off. I I don't know. It's not enough that it's going to make me want to redo that. Like it just kind of caught a little funny, but it looks pretty good. It gets covered with a bow tie belt anyways, um, so, you know, I worry about perfection to a point, but if I ripped everything out every single time there was even the slightest imperfection, I would never get a piece done. Um, so to finish up here, what you do. Okay, so once you've pressed back your little, um, your facings so that they are the same length at the top, they should be the same height at the top, and you've uh, pressed them back. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I've got a needle and thread, and I'm just going to do a really quick, um, in this particular case, I am going to do what I call a whip stitch. So, it goes, it just is a very quick stitch where you whip around and around and around basically. So it makes little diagonals, come up at a diagonal and you go in, catch some of the fabric. Um, and in this case I'm doing it because it's quick. Like if, if I wanted to uh, do something nicer, if I really wanted to make it disappear I could do a slip stitch, but um, that would be a little more pretty and time-consuming, but you know, it still works. Um, I just don't feel like taking a lot of time to do this, so I want to move on. I want to get it done. Sometimes done is good. But I'm, you know, trying to be consistent and small with my whip stitches so that they are about the same. There's one that's a little off in there, but... I also like them because it's easier, uh, easier to find later if I need to rip them out for some reason, if I need to make any adjustments. I'm only just catching a little bit of the zipper. And this should be over far enough like that this can still zip past all of it. That's the other thing. You gotta make sure. Don't want to catch your thread in your zipper. Like I just did, almost.
Okay, so I whip stitched up both sides, you can see. And then um, I've also already added the uh, trim and a nice little hook and eye at the top. So let me show you the outside of that. So there's top back on the outside, little hook and eye right there, just, just chilling. So you will see more of this in a future video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It's been a very weird year and the fact that I'm still making these videos uh, is awesome and exciting. Um, I feel like they're getting better and more informative. I feel like I'm getting better at figuring out how to structure them so that they get you the information that you need as opposed to my early ones which were literally just me rambling about stuff. And I mean I still ramble a lot but I do feel like I have a more like direct um, approach to things now. I hope that was helpful to see how to put in a centered zipper. Like I said, there's a bunch of different w methods of doing it. Um, I was originally, part one of the things, I was originally going to do a centered zipper and also a um, uh, invisible zipper because I thought that the cuffs of this dress needed invisible zippers. And then I got into the instructions and they didn't. Um, and I liked the way that the instructions wanted me to finish them. So I decided to go with that instead of cursing myself with putting invisible zippers in the cuffs of the dress. So that's why you're not seeing invisible zippers or the dress. So I have to go back to a store. Um, I'm dreading going to Joanne's uh, to buy more zippers, but say la vie. So I filmed a lot of footage of the construction of this dress, and I'm not sure how much of it is actually going to end up making it into the next video that I do about it. Um, the next video, I really don't want to drag it out too long, so I'm going to kind of see you might get another video of construction and then a final, or I might just go straight to a final video. Um, I don't know if much of it is super useful. I mean, some of it probably is, but like some of it is just me finicky, finicky working on stuff, you know? Um, so we'll see how many more videos in the gunny sack dress there are, but, um, Again, I'm trying to keep the information pertinent and useful to the vast variety of sewers that um, watch my watch my channel. Once again, thank you so much for all of your support and tuning into my videos. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.